Today we're going to talk about the Be Quiet 360mm Pure Loop AIO. This AIO promises great performance, low noise, a very clean, nicely designed aesthetic, and very high build quality. Let's see if it delivers on all these fronts and let's get into the video. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. Remember to hit that notification bell, smash that like button, leave a comment below. What type of cooling solution are you using on your gaming PC or on your workstation? All right guys, so let's get right into it. Be Quiet recently sent me their Pure Loop 360 millimeter AIO to review. Now they also make this in 120, 240, and 280 millimeter sizes, depending on the type of build you're doing in your case and of course i wanted to do the 360 just so i can get the maximum performance possible now i'm a little bit of a cpu cooling enthusiast i've done everything from air cooled to aios to very complex custom water cooling with open loops and various types of cpu blocks and time and time again i'm always just absolutely delighted with the ease of use installation and performance of a very high quality aio and that's where we we get to the pure loop 360 millimeter AIO. So the first point, all right, be quiet. You guys may know them more for their air coolers, such as the Dark Rock Pro 4, which is one of the highest end air coolers that you can get, not to mention their absolutely phenomenally designed cases. In fact, right here, I'm running this system and the cooler in their Dark Base 700 case, which I absolutely love for its quietness, design aesthetic, and build quality. And one of my favorite cases of all time is the Dark Base 900. I did a really awesome X570 build in that a while back with the godlike motherboard and the Ryzen 3900 when that was released. So that was when I was first exposed to Be Quiet's products. And since then, I definitely have been delighted with their attention to detail, aesthetics, and build quality. So let's get right down to basics, all the way down to the experience of actually getting the package, opening it. It comes packaged like a standard AIO, a very nice box, everything is in its plastic, and of course you're going to get the mounting hardware for the CPU that you're going to be using, be it Intel or AMD. Everything comes nicely packaged. You do get your high quality thermal paste as well. Something that you usually don't get on an AIO is a little fill bottle. Usually that's something you would have for an open loop system. So let's say if you saw this you could be thinking eh, do i have to fill this is this going to be an open custom loop i thought it was an aio a closed system an all-in-one cooler what's going on here well don't worry this is basically just for maybe after like two years that they recommend if you need to top off the liquid in there there's going to be a little slot on top of the radiator you just open it and top off your liquid and that's it therefore giving you much longer life to your AIO. So this is definitely a nice touch and definitely something that kind of separates this from the rest of the AIOs on the market. And then continuing with what you get in the box, of course, you're gonna get your little cables for your, your fan splitters and your power. Not to mention, you're gonna get three of Be Quiet's fans. These are gonna be the Pure Wings fans. These fans have great design aesthetics, but even more importantly, they're very silent for the amount of air and static pressure that they push. And even for water cooling, when I did my 900 build, I actually filled it up with Be Quiet fans just because I really like the aesthetic, the noise profile, as well as the static pressure that they would push through. And not to mention, I thought they were priced very fairly as well compared to the other high-end water cooling fans on the market. So I'm very happy that you actually get three very high quality fans with this AIO. With some AIOs, you have to kind of ditch the fans they come with and put something better because they put cheap fans on. But these are definitely fans that I would stand alone by myself to use in the system so very very positive note there so let's talk about the design aesthetic of this aio i think it's a very clean design it even has a separate pump from the water block you'll see it up the tubes a little bit that way you get a nice separation between your water block and your pump and of course your water block will have that nice white led which says be quiet and generally the tubing looks pretty good on the radiator the aio says pure loop on the top and the radiator thickness is roughly what you would get with like a corsair radiator or something standard so it definitely fits in very well with that aesthetic overall just looks very high quality very nice and clean it's a very nice understated aesthetic without rgb all over the place i really kind of like this and in fact it really matches the new rtx founders edition gpus with that white led so let's talk about a few notes what i thought about the installation process some 
sometimes depending on the AIO or the air cooler, the installation process on different items can actually be pretty frustrating, even making water cooling seem easier by design. So I'm happy to say that the Pure Loop has a very intuitive and simple design process that's easy to follow. And at the end, you're assured that it's really in there secure. So this I installed on a Z490 Intel motherboard. This is gonna be the Asus Apex with a 10900K. So definitely a very beefy system. The best gaming processor that's out now in terms of pure numbers. So it definitely has a lot of power, giving off a lot of heat for something like this to be able to handle. But we'll talk about the performance soon. For the installation process with this CPU, I basically just put the back plate in the back. And then there are four screws that kind of go right behind it with a washer. And then you kind of just thread on the little cap. And then you're gonna put in these two bars on the top and on the bottom. And then basically the CPU block goes right in there and you just use a screwdriver to tighten the top and the bottom. This was actually a very similar process to the installation of their air cooler. If you guys have installed an air cooler before with the brackets and things like that, especially the Dark Rock Pro 4, you'll be very familiar but this installation process was actually even easier because with the air cooler, you kind of have the air cooler in the way. You have to use a very long screwdriver to kind of get that in order to be able to affix it to your motherboard. But here, everything's nicely out in the open. It's very transparent. The CPU block is smaller, of course, than an air cooler, making it a much easier installation. And on that note, that's actually a pretty big deal that the CPU block is small compared to an air cooler. If you guys have done tower air coolers before, you'll know that a lot of times you may have compatibility issues with your case and especially your RAM. Um, in the past, I've had to use low profile RAM just to make sure that the air cooler would fit just because of the way it juts out with the fans. It's a very big unit, of course. But now you don't have to worry about that because with this AIO, the CPU block is extremely small. You can basically fit it in any single case that would fit the radiator and the hose. And you don't have to worry about any RAM clearance issues at all, just because the CPU block is so compact that it's unlike an air cooler. So that's definitely a big plus in the design of something like this. And also with the installation process, basically your fans just have your fan cable, which go to a splitter and that can go to your motherboard header, your CPU header, or if you have a fan controller or something like that, the pump itself is going to have a little splitter as well. Um, so basically one of the cables comes from the CPU block. That's going to be for your LED light on the CPU block itself. And then the second cable will also plug into the splitter, which goes to a SATA power connection. And that's going to be from the pump housing itself. And that's going to power your pump basically giving it 100% at all times. That way, the only thing you really have to worry about is actually just connecting your fans to your motherboard and you can control the fans with PWM so that way you have a nice smooth curve um, so it doesn't ramp up too quickly or too slowly, giving you the best cooling performance for the thermals that you're putting in your system as well as for the audible noise that you can put up with. So let's talk about some of the performance of the Pure Loop 360 millimeter cooler. Now, being 360 millimeter is definitely going to give you the most radiated real estate in order to up your performance as much as it can. So if your case can accommodate a 360 millimeter radiator instead of 280, 240, or 120, I would definitely recommend the largest size that you can fit. Some of the tests that I ran, first, the system is a Z490 Apex motherboard with a 10900K. I tested it with stock settings as well as overclocked using the motherboard's multi-core enhancement that Asus has. Many other motherboards have similarly the same thing. So to summarize, competition in the AIO market is definitely heating up. And this latest arrival from Be Quiet, the Pure Loop 360 millimeter is absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, definitely one of the best AIOs that you can buy. It's very compact in size, very efficient. I love the clean design aesthetic with the Be Quiet logo and the little white LED around it. The fans you get with it are absolutely phenomenal. I love that the pump is separated from the CPU block. You get sort of that dual separation there. Installation is a breeze and the system is very, very quiet while at the same time putting out stellar performance, even being able to tame a monster 10900K, even when it's overclocked and something like this, of course, it's going to work great on an AMD system as well. Keeping temperature down on AMD is even more important. That way those processors like a 3950X or a 3900X can boost even higher, giving you more efficiency and thus more power. All right, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment below. What type of cooling solution are you using for your CPU? And I'll see you guys on the next video.